Welcome to this quick guide to NATO RWR in DCS World. The goal of this video is to help you understand the basics of NATO RWR in a general sense. We'll start off in the F-18 Hornet as we attempt to penetrate a Russian-style SAM system which contains many of the SAMs covered in the SAM Quick Guide series. In the Hornet we are looking at the EW page which gives us a top-down view of the area around our aircraft. If you look in front of us you can see we have a big bird on the nose this is noted by the bb on the ew page which is part of the sa10 we know this is a long range sam so we should be mindful of its strengths and weaknesses while we can just see the threat on this page we have nails big bird it simply means that our rwr is picking up the radar signal of this sam and therefore it can see us in return once we get a little closer to sam it will begin to spike us this means that it can see us and that it has locked us is indicated by the tone you currently hear. This should be your first indication that you are likely to be attacked imminently. Now the tone has changed and you have been fired upon, it's time to evade. There are several things you can do to avoid the incoming missile. It would normally involve either diving towards the ground to lead the missile into the ground crash, or place the missile in the notch and release some countermeasures. There are lots of videos on how to do this successfully elsewhere on YouTube. Here is the RWR on the F5 Tiger, as you can see, it's also a top-down view of the area around your aircraft, although it does look different to the Hornet's version. This time you can see an SA-2 search radar, as indicated by the S and the 2. The S is the P-19, and the 2 is the Fansong track radar. The F-5 is a little different because it has a search and a track mode for its RWR, but the same principles will apply. Now let's run through some of the various sounds that you'll see pop up on your RWR when flying a NATO jet with RWR installed in the cockpit. Many, like the SA-2, 3, 5, 6, 8, 13 and 15, all just show their number. However, others, like the SA-10, will show BB or CS. Other unusual RWR contacts to watch out for are SD, which is the snowdrift. This is usually attached to an SA-11, but their launchers will just show up as an 11. Don't forget, these can still fire on you. S-6, which is the Tunguska, or the SA-19. S, which just refers to several different search radars, including the P-19 as mentioned earlier. Sometimes this will show up as a flat face, which is FF. The E is the dog ear, usually used by things like the SA-8. GR is the search radar for the Roland, its track radar is just RO. HK is of course the Hawksan search radar. P or PT is the Patriot system. NS is the NASAM. And A refers to many different AAA radars like the Shilk. Of course, the RWR also shows ships and any aircraft which are also within radar, so things can get a little bit complicated, but we will cover these in another video. You can use the helpful links in the description to see some things that I use to identify which SAMs are locking me or I can see. Don't forget to check out the SAMs Quick Guide series to learn more about each of the SAM threats. I hope you found this quite useful. I'd appreciate a like if you did. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the skies.